Um, this is, we're, we're going to be dealing with exercise three and the characteristic and then TISA handout. Um, we want to start to address the notation that we use and, and why we use it and how it relates. And we're going to be using scientific notation. And uh, this is about scientific notation and numbers that are expressed in, in terms of the exponent uh, characteristic and mantissa factors, uh, at, at 10 rates to that. Now, it turns out that uh, all this is going to boil down to um, knowing when to add and when to multiply. That's all this boils down to. So all the skills we have by the time we're in the third grade are what we're going to need. It's small numbers from 1 to 10, without 10 included. In other words, all you have to do is be able to uh, multiply and or divide uh, numbers 1 through 9. And this is a skill we all have. And that uh, is going to... Uh, uh, all the, then all we're going to need to know is when to add and when to multiply. Those are the two big skills. And so, uh, and, and this gives us a notation, that, uh, 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 our, our scientific notation exploits this simplification. We have a way of denoting things that makes it simple, that reduces it down to these simple operations. And that's by uh, uh, representing every, we can start by every number is a decimal number. Okay, we can represent it as a decimal number. And uh, uh, the, the mantissa term is going to be actually the decimal term. But it turns out that um, I can express a number as equal to p times some scaling factor. So the p here is going to represent the precision. It can be a decimal number with a certain degree of precision, so many digits to the right of the decimal. But p is greater than 1 and greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So the numbers 1 through 9 leap to mind here. And that's where we're going to restrict P to that form. Now it may be a lot, as many decimals to the right of the, uh, as many figures to the right of the decimal as the precision allows. But it's always going to be a small number. So the so scientific notation requires that P be between 1 and 10. Okay? Now this is going to be multiplied by a scaling factor, this characteristic term. This is why we do this. This scales it on into a small term. We can deal with little numbers. That's, that's easy. Our brain can handle little numbers. So uh, all this characteristic is, this is a scaling factor. So, and we, when we write it, this is a factor. In other words, this is the product of this precise term, this decimal number, times this scaling factor, which is the order of magnitude information. And so, um, the uh, number n, which we've been expressing as 10 raised to uh, uh, the, this exponent, this uh, characteristic term to the right, left of the decimal, and a mantissa term to the right of the decimal. And whenever it is the case that the exponent is a positive number, so if this is a positive number, then this mantissa term, 0 point m, is equal to log p. It's the log base 10 of the number p uh, 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 that we're going to be expressing it in uh, scientific notation. And so it, it, it breaks down like this. Uh, 10 to raise to this c, I substitute in log p for the m term. Um, I can then fact, uh, 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 rearrange this as the sum of these two numbers, because this is true. I can set this quality, and then recognize that now I can factor it as the product. When I add, I multiply. So it's knowing when to add and when to multiply. So I, after doing this factor, now I recognize this log 10 to the log p is just p, and it's multiplied by 10 to the c, the scaling factor. And this is going to give us scientific notation, which is going to give us the ability to perform very uh, uh, what would appear to be daunting calculations very easily. It simplifies the whole thing and it gives us cognition of what's going on. So I have the number n being represented with the precision contained in the p term, this decimal, multiplied by the scaling factor. 
And now we're going to have several exercises that we're going to go over. And um, exercise three. What is the log of the following numbers? And so now I'm going to have to pull the board down. And later on, we're going to convert the given exponential. So we're going to go both ways. We're going to go from the scientific notation to uh, find out what the log of the number is. And then we're going to go from numbers that are expressed in an exponential form to the scientific notation. So you have to be able to go easily between the two notations. Because this is going to have to occur in several calculations. Um, now, the first one. What is the log of the following number? Well, this first one is easy. Log of 10 to the 5.477. Well, that turns out to be uh, 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 the, pretty much the definition of what log is, because we're using the convention that log implies a base 10. So that's equal to 5.477. Just don't want to lose sight of the simple. Now we're going to get into something a little more difficult. So this is equal to we're, 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 the, the number 2.00 times 10 to the fourth. Well, the scaling factor is 10 to the fourth. We don't have to worry about that. Let's just deal with this mantissa term or the, 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 the precision, the, the, the decimal, as 2 to the right of the decimal precision. This many three significant figures. And therefore, 2.00 is equal to uh, 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 10 to the 0 0.301. I have three significant figures here. I have three significant figures here. Okay, so now, therefore, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, 2.00 times 10 to the 4th. Is equal to 10 to the 0 0.301 times 10 to the 4. Because I've just substituted in that this is um, uh, p here. Uh, this is log p. I should have mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, p equals 2.0. This is p, this is log p. That's that. And now the rules of the exponents allow me when I multiply, what do I do? I add. So this was a convoluted trip, but it got us there. Um, and this is equal to 10. To now what do I do is I add, when I multiply two numbers, two exponential numbers with a common base, I add the exponents. So that's 10 to the 4.301. Now I'll do the next one probably a little bit better. Um, let's call our attention to the fact that uh, 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 p is equal to 1.20. OK, now I'm going to have to do a little bit of factoring. That is equal to uh, 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 3 times 4 times 10 to the minus 1. And so, you know, and so, which is equal to 3 times 4 times 10 to the minus 1. And so now I can break this down. So the log of p is equal to the log of 3 plus the log of 4 plus the log of 10 to the minus 1. OK? And then that means that's equal to, OK, this we know is 0 0.477 plus, and this is 0 0.602 plus, this is minus 1. So. 0.477 and 602. Well, 7 and 2 is 9, 7 and 0 is 7, 4 and 6 is 10. So it's, oh, uh, uh, it, 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 this adds up to 1.079. 1.079. 1 
1.079 minus 1 is equal to uh, 0.079. So this is equal to, um, <coughs> yeah, is equal to 0 0.079. Now, I can solve the problem. So, uh, 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 log p, so, Two, uh, 1.20 times 10 to the 7 is equal to uh, 10 to the log of 1.2 times 10 to the 7 equals um, uh, 10. 0.079 times 10 to the 7th, which is equal to, now I add, when I multiply, I add, so I add 7 plus this equals 10 to the 7.079. The log of 1.2 times 10 to the 7 is equal to the log of 10 to the 7.079 equals 7.079. Okay, so that solves that problem. Again, I'm sort of convoluted, but we're getting there. Now let's convert, let's go the other way. We have to be able to convert the given exponential number into scientific notation. And with a little bit of practice doing this, you'll find that I've recognized this immediately. Mm -hmm. These things will come immediately familiar. Well, 10 to the 2.301, let's just take it from here, is equal to uh, uh, 10 to the 2 plus 0 0.301. So we broke it down into the characteristic and the mantis terms. And then this is equal to 10 to the uh, uh, 2 plus log of p. So all, all I have to do to recognize for this one is take into account the fact that log of p is equal to 0 0.301, and we recognize from our familiarity with the logs of the first five primes, and therefore, therefore, p equals 2.00. Three sig figs, precision, three sig figs. So this is equal to uh, um, 2.00 plus 0 0.301 times 10 to the 2. So uh, it's an easy matter to convert. So what we have to do is we're going to break all these numbers down. This is, a, again, we're going to take 10 to the 6.845. And you can certainly see where it's going. is equal to 10 to the 6 plus 0 0.845. And that means that the log of P is equal to 0 0.845 equals, and therefore, P is equal to 7.00, three sig figs. And that means that, that um, this is equal to 10 to the 6 plus log of 7. And that means it's equal to 7.00 times 10 to the 6. So you pretty much, once you recognize, you look at the numbers to write the decimal, recognize that that is 7, and then it's just 7 times the characteristic term. This is always going to be the case when we're dealing with a positive exponent. Now, in the last one, let's just look at it first and then we'll prove it. We'll look at this, 0 0.602. We recognize that as that's the log of 4. So this means that 4, 10 to the 4.602 is equal to 10 to the 4 plus 0 0.602 which is equal to 10 to the 4 plus 
uh, uh, the log of 4.00, and that's equal to 4.00 times 10. And so these, uh, it becomes very comfortable going both ways. A little bit of practice is this, and you start to spot this number here, it's that number there. And we can keep, we never lose track 